Hey everybody, so I am here in one of my favorite places. I'm in Gallup, New Mexico, but I'm also at the historic El Rancho Hotel. I'm here with Felix, and as you can see, I'm behind the bar. He's gonna teach me how to make some of the historic drinks that they have here. They opened this hotel in 1937, and some of the great actors of you know, our era and before our generation, I think of all time. I mean, I'm a big John Wayne fan. They have stayed here. They have drank at this bar. They've rode their horses in this bar. Ronald Reagan stayed here uh, just as many times as John Wayne. They both stayed here eight times, more than anybody else. And I learned a story too. Um, Errol Flynn rode his horse in this bar. It was a hot day. They were out filming. He couldn't take it anymore. He's like, I need a drink rode down the hall, rode right up to this bar, got a shot of whiskey for himself, got a beer for his horse, slammed it down, went back to work. Well, not to be outdone, of course, because John Wayne will never be outdone. He thought, well, if Errol Flynn's going to do it, I'm going to do it even better. A couple months later, he's filming a Western here. He rides his horse in the bar, orders two shots of whiskey for himself, and two beers for his horse. So. This is a historic bar, and I'm so glad I get to be behind it with yeah, you. Me too. I'm glad to have you here. I know. Awesome. We're going to make a couple different Good drinks. Nice. We're going to make the Ronald Reagan and, and the, the El Rancho. Okay. So, El Rancho. Yeah. which one are we going to do first? So, let's get started with the El Rancho. Okay. okay. This is one of our signature drinks here. Okay. Okay. And it is made with the Kogian uh, whiskey. Okay. This is actually uh, this line that we have right in the front of us right here is actually from Santa Fe uh, Spirits. Out of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Great. Okay. I love local yes. local spirits. Um, yes. So awesome. You know, we got a couple here. You know, we got the Wheeler's Gin. We got the um, vodka here. Right. You know, and then we also got an apple brandy. And okay. this apple brandy is really good for a hot toddy. I don't know if we'll have time to make that, but we'll, we'll, let's get started. You know what? We'll for we're... Felix, for all of this, I'll make time. Okay. <laughs> let's do that. That's no problem. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. okay? All right. So we're going to start off with a little bit of ice in the shaker. Okay. Okay. So then we're going to get the Kogan whiskey. Here, okay. put a little ice in yours. All right. Ooh. Okay. Yes. He's me teaching me, yes. so you got to bear yeah. with me. You know, he's the pro. I'm not. All right. I'm the so pro drinker. He's the pro maker. We got a jigger here. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put two and a half ounces. I mean, uh, two ounces. Okay. Of uh, uh, whiskey in the shaker. Okay, so hang on, let's, let's get another half. Awesome. There okay. we go. Yeah, I okay. like that two and a okay. half. More the merrier. <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. More merrier. Okay, so let's do mine. So. And this is a good recipe that you can dazzle your friends with over the holidays. Right. Let's face it. Right. Yeah, come up with something new, new that they've never had before. Exactly. So then we're going to get some uh, sweet vermouth. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So, and we're going to do a half ounce of sweet vermouth. Okay. In there. Okay. So, uh, here we go. Let's do a half ounce. Right. Yeah. Go. One for me, me. One for you. And one for me. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And then now what we do is we get some bitters. Okay. okay. So we have the sweet bitters. Okay. Okay. So we'll do two dashes of Isn't bitters. Isn't that an oxymoron, uh, sweet a, bitters? Right, yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't so make then, sense to me. And then we also we put some orange bitters. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do a couple dashes of that. Oops, sorry. And you can get all this stuff at, at your local, local liquor, liquor store. store. Exactly. Yeah. Any grocery store, anywhere. Okay. You know, yes. All right. So now what we do is we get our lids. Get your lid. Okay. Got my lid. Okay. okay. We're I gotta hold a, the top. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We gotta hold the top. Give okay. it a couple good shakes. And let it shake up a little bit. There you go. Okay. okay. All right, and then what we do is we take the top off. Okay, pop okay. the top off. Grab your glass. Off. Okay, and then okay. we'll just pour it. We'll just pour it in a watch, in a 12 ounce rock glass. Oh, I can do okay. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what we want to do is we just want to top it off with a little more ice. You know, okay. we'll get a little more ice. Top just it to off. make it perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Okay, and then we we'll get a marshmallow uh, cherry. Oh yeah, okay. you gotta have to gotta top, gotta top it off with a yes. cherry. We gotta top it with a cherry, right? And then we also. Go for the for the orange slice. Okay. There we go. All right. And that there is the Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Okay. Okay. Let's. Well, we have to taste it. it. I gotta taste it. Make sure. Let's give it. 
That's really good. Yeah, that is awesome. And it's so unique. Yeah, I've never is. had a drink like yeah. that before. And they made this drink specifically for yeah. Ronald Reagan for the El Rio Show. Yes. I mean, how cool is that? Yes. So, I mean, impress your friends. What I want you guys to do is go on your Facebook, number one. Go to Gallup Real True. I want you to like it and I want you to follow it because we're gonna be doing live feeds all week and there's so much cool stuff going on. And you know, right now we're gonna step into what are we making next? Okay, and our next drink we're gonna step into is another one of our signature drinks. It's called the, uh, the Reagan. Okay. Okay. Now the and El Rancho. So, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, the El Rancho, I'm sorry. El Rancho. Yeah, the El Rancho, See, yes. two sips of this and you forget what's going <laughs> right? on. You forget all I your troubles, forgot. I'm just saying. Yeah. Already got a little buzz. Yeah, right? Okay. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. Okay. Okay, so let's get a uh, little ice in our shakers. Okay. okay, a little for me. Yes, let me put a little more okay. for you. Okay, all right, and then we're going we're gonna to make this with the Wheeler's Gin. Okay, okay, this is another this is another Santa Fe uh, spirits. And their um, their spirits are so yes, good. They are and awesome. I love that it's local. local I yes. mean, how cool. And, see, and if they don't have it at your liquor store, tell them to get it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to push here now in uh, in the El Rancho is we're trying to we're carrying a lot of the New Mexico spirits. Now, right, and know, keeping it local. local keeping exactly. It, and that's you know, our that's what we're real doing. New Mexico. Chico. Exactly. Right. Right. So here we go. So we're gonna do Two and a half ounces of the Wheeler's Gin. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I love gin. All right. And y'all are saying, oh, well, you kind of like everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, and this is the historic El Rancho, Rancho drink mm -hmm. that we're making. Yes. Okay. The next thing we're going to put in is a little bit of the sweet vermouth. Another okay. half Some ounce. more of that. Of love that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a lot of, you know, a lot of these additives, you know, you definitely want to measure them because you don't want to overdo it. Exactly. Yeah, you got to, you know, some of these things you really have to measure right, you do. to really make it perfect. perfect. Yeah. Because if you over measure it, it's not going to taste. Yeah. yeah. If you pour it like I do, it's going to taste really bad. <laughs> if you do it like right. Felix does, exactly. it's going to be really good. Yeah, Here we go. Exactly. Let's put a couple of dashes of the sweet. Okay. A couple of dashes the of bitter right. sweet. Deep, yeah. the bitter sweet. Yeah. All right, let's get okay. our lids. Okay. And let's, uh, let's shake it up. Okay. Here's another little last one. Okay. Alrighty. There you go. Right. Take it up. Take it over your back. Dance, right. Right. Put it over your head. A little cocktail <laughs> right. action. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So then we do. Get your 12 ounce rocks glass. Okay. okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour it in there. Okay. You can do that. There we go. Alright. There we go. Alright. Like so. And then just to kind of top it off. Uh, yeah. Top it off with a little, little ice. ice. A little more ice. You know. So Never I can hurts. tell from these drinks that they really liked them pretty strong back in the day. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. For sure. They okay. were messing around. We're gonna around. do the same thing. Yeah. We're gonna put a cherry. Okay. A cherry in there. Okay. One for me. All right. And then we just mix it up. Do that and cheers. And cheers. And have another drink. drink. For sure. Man, they're That's both awesome. so good. Yeah, I don't yes. know which one I like better. Yeah. They're awesome. Yeah, awesome. they are really good. These are awesome Some drinks that you here. guys can make for the holidays. But what you really should do is come to Gallup, New Mexico and get one at the bar yourself. Exactly. Come drink where John Wayne drank. Come drink a Ronald Reagan. Have a great time. This hotel is so cool. There's so much history here. Um, I mean, you just walk around and you feel it and you see all the pictures. And it's just so cool. I it mean, is. it's such a, a blessing it's to be here. I love Gallup, New Mexico. You guys got to like and follow their Facebook because we're going to be all around town doing all kinds of great things this weekend. Tell us where you're, you know, tuning in from, where you're watching from. Tell us what you want to see and uh, if there's anything you want us to do. So if you have any questions, let us know. And it's Gallup Real True. So like it, follow it, and I guess let's have some more drinks. For sure. Cheers. Cheers. So I'm sitting here with Tina, and of course we're enjoying these wonderful drinks. I've got the El Rancho. She's got the Ronald Reagan. How did I do? Like, are they okay? Oh, it's great. Okay. So if I need a job later, I can call you, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're at the El Rancho Historic Hotel, and I mean. Like I said before, it's just so cool to be here, and it's so uh, amazing to walk, you know, up to the same bar, sit in the same, you know, place where a lot of these 
legends were. And, uh, you know, I mean, tell us a little bit about the history of the hotel. The hotel was, uh, they started construction in 1936. They opened the doors in 1937. Right. Uh, they opened the doors, really, right from the beginning, to the stars. So, and they built it really essentially for the stars for the because stars. they were filming so many westerns here yes, and so yes. many different movies and everything and they needed a place, you know, amazing to stay. Yeah. So just in the Gallup area alone, there's, um, there were 40 movies uh, during that time period that were mm -hmm. uh, filmed here. All of the stars stayed here in our bunkhouse, which is right behind the main building here. Right. That's all where the, they put me. Yeah. <laughs> all the... Um, Hands, film hands, and production crews, stage hands, they all stayed there. Mm -hmm. So, it, uh, all of the rooms have placards over them. Those are actually the rooms that those people stayed in, so that's very exciting. And people call specifically and say... And request who, yes, what celebrity's room yes. they want to stay in. I, I did, did get to see John Wayne's room. Yeah, the it was most amazing. requested of room, yeah. of course. Uh, but we do have the Lucille Ballroom, we have the Marx Brothers, mm -hmm. we have uh, Doris Day. Right. So we have a great variety. Um, we're very excited this year. We are going to start a facelift. That's a little, nice. Hey, we all little, need a little help. That's let's right, face a little it. project. Um, we haven't had any restoration done in the hotel since the 60s. Okay. So it's definitely time to give her a little sure, boost. Sure, give her a little love, yeah. We will be uh, redoing um, just about everything, but uh, we will be maintaining the integrity and the footprint of the hotel. Mm -hmm. So the historical... Um, nature of the hotel will not change. Right. What we really want to do is just bring in more um, great amenities that families can enjoy and the amenities that people expect right, and right. want today. Exactly. So, um, now I noticed that you shop the same place I do. <laughs> so Ortega's is an amazing store here that I mean has so many gifts but of course I pick the most expensive gifts. So Santa, this is what I would like for Christmas. I mean, beautiful turquoise and jewelry, handcrafted pieces, all kinds of different things that you can buy in there. And I know later on we're going to have dinner in the restaurant. We are. Yeah. So this is, I mean, this is a must bucket list go-to place here in Gallup, New Mexico, because there's not many places like this left anymore where you can walk in the same steps as you know our western grade so thank you so much and cheers you're welcome cheers to you too